then actually. Is Victor Boniface on his way to being the next JJ Okocha? Well, I think he is the lost gem the Nigeria national team has been missing since the time JJ Okocha retired. But before looking into what makes him this good who is he? Boniface has been taking the football world by storm this recent years, being the leading striker and goal scorer under Zabai Alonso for the crazy Bayer Leverkusen. But the road hasn't been smooth sailing for him just like any typical Nigerian footballer. Victor Boniface was born on the 23rd of December, 2000 in Pure, Nigeria. Due to his grandfather being in the military Victor had to live in the barracks, but it was here he started developing his love at the age of 8 for football. There he started playing with his neighbor's kid and eventually joined an academy nearby. But when Victor was 15 he left a cure to Lagos to pursue his footballing dreams by joining an academy called Real Sapphires. He was very impressive when he joined and his hard work eventually pay off as he earned a move to Norway joining Bodo Glimt in 2019 after a successful trial. Two weeks after arriving at Bodo Victor tore his ACL which made him only play eight matches and scored one goal. During the second season, he scored six goals and three assists in 24 appearances as he helped Bodo win their first Norwegian title in 2020. But then he tore his ACL again and he even revealed he wanted to quit football after the second tier but thank god he didn't because in the following season he scored six goals in 15 appearances earning a move to Union St. Gilloise in Belgium. It was here he showed how good he really was, there he recorded seven goals and seven assists in 31 appearances. And I know those are not impressive numbers, but he only stayed there for a year due his incredible performances in the Europa League, where he scored six goals in 10 matches being the joint top scorer. But it was here Victor's story changed because during the semi-finals game again Bayer Leverkusen Victor was the man of the moment tearing into their defense easily and then scoring a fantastic goal. That they had no choice but to sign him for a whopping 20 million euro becoming their number one striker. But before we continue please like and subscribe to help the channel. As soon as he arrived at Leverkusen, Victor began tearing the Bundesliga scoring 6 goals in 5 matches and overall recording 10 goals in 17 matches collecting the Bundesliga player of the month 3 times in a row in the process. And all this numbers would have gone up had he not pick up a groin injury during international duties but he is back now so we hope he can continue. But how is he the heir to JJ Okocha's throne? We must first understand his play style. Victor Boniface is a very flashy striker, he has very smooth dribbling and he very good on the ball. He is a very talented goal scorer a true joy to watch who can also provide assist and open space for his teammates shown by his 2.0 for goal contribution per match. He also knows how to challenge the defender being the top challenging striker in the world and this is what the Nigeria national team has been missing since JJ retired. They need a striker that's good with and without the ball, a striker that can create chances and open up spaces for his teammates like Victor Ottoman. His skills and his ability on the ball is what make him different from other Nigeria strikers and that's the missing piece in the Nigeria national team. I mean, JJ himself has seen this and showered him praises which is incredible. Please like and subscribe to help the channel.